Okay, so um, we're going to talk about um, the hackathon, actually. So part of the hackathon that's coming up for the content editor, there's a few issues that I came across, and maybe we can use that as, I'll share my screen in two seconds here. Yeah. Let me share my screen. That's the right one. Okay, cool. So the editor group is hackathons coming up. And the reason of this call, uh, this sync session was that I saw that there were these two main issues, like the content editor and issues and content editor and comments. Uh, so this is the one in issues and the one in comments and at the moment um, there's no real um, description yet and I think part of this discussion will help shape out what we put in this uh, in these description areas when I first saw this I was thinking about um, how how the content editor might play in the experience of editing uh, so my my assumption of this issue was like we were thinking that the content editor would come to like replace and uh, or add add a way to edit um, issue descriptions using the content editor features that we've in implemented and the same thing with like comments it's like changing this thing so that it has the abilities that we've um, have in the content editor so that people don't have to write in Markdown, but there's always going to be a fallback so people can write in Markdown. Um, yeah, so th that was my assumption. Um, is that a correct assumption? Like, is that what you two were thinking about when these when you saw these two issues, or were you thinking of something else? Yeah, I think that, that, that I shared the, that assumption. It's just like um, bringing the, the container as an, as an editing alternative in, in both places. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so this is like, like a breakdown of kind of like where we're at, where we might go, who knows. Uh, but at the moment, this is our wiki experience. And we have this um, way to toggle like rich text or edit source. And it's, that's the thing that swaps back and forth between content editor and um, the raw markdown. Um, a few months ago, we were talking about uh, trying to make this edit rich text a little bit more prominent. And we have like, we kind of landed on this source and rich tag uh, text kind of segment control uh, where you toggle between the two uh, and that determines your state. Um, I think this is a good opportunity to kind of like revisit this whole thing and potentially just like um, collaborate on this because I know that you two both have worked on the content editor extensively and are very familiar with the UI there so you might have some ideas of how to implement it better as we move into the world of like combining it so that it works in here like how how might i switch from this view to the content editor view um, um i i kind of proposed this kind of idea here but um enrique thank you for this note here um did you want to talk a little bit about uh, your note here to explain why this approach may be good in theory, but maybe not ready yet for full implementation? Sure. Um, so, what <clears throat> the the perception that I that I have about this mode um, of having the container as a tab alongside the the markdown source source editor. Is that you can use rich, the rich tag, the container as a preview, uh, as a way of getting a preview of how the markdown is displayed uh, when you save the changes. However, the container is still an editor. It's a, it's a WYSIWYG editor. And in some situations, 
uh, that are actually like very edge cases. They, they are like really like um, exceptional situations. Um, the containator still introduces some changes into the markdown uh, to let's say like, Because when, when you are like displaying a document in a WYSIWYG editor, that document should have uh, should follow or perform with with a uh, with some rules uh, of how the document should be structured. And Markdown is a language that is very flexible, and it allows, for example, any kind of HTML. So there are there will be some cases where it's inevitable that the container could modify the structure, the original structure of the document. And in those situations, the container cannot act as a preview as a preview of the of the of what the user is typing in the source mode. So that's my that that's my biggest concern. Like can we get rid of the preview and replace it completely with the container when they Container may change this, the original structure of the document. Yeah, one big um, example of this is that, uh, uh, sorry, yeah, yeah cool. the diagrams. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Mobile diagrams and all other kinds of diagrams in the in the preview, it just shows the diagram, but in the container, it shows uh, both the diagram and the code. So, yeah, mm. that's one example. Mm. Okay, that, that those are. And that's a really good solid example of how we kind of surface those um, more complex uh, types with that have visualization options to them. Um, cool. Um, so I'm happy to kind of not replace uh, not replace preview. Uh, <laughs> don't replace preview. With rich text, I'm just gonna just make a note for now. That's cool. Um, I think that that's good. Uh, I, I love your cursor says like visiting spider. As someone in Australia, that's kind of like a scary thing. Like spiders flying around my <laughs> screen, but it's all good. Uh, cool. Um, I'm I'm fine with that. Um, I'm just gonna put this note up here for now. Um, And then I was just exploring this um, without something that I mentioned you kind of brought up is like if we do continue adding stuff to the tabs that this uh, this toolbar might get too long um, and potentially we may need to like truncate this into like a drop down. Um, this is like a recent icon that was added it's like for titles and things like that. And I think as a short uh, kind of like MVC kind of approach, we could reuse that if we needed to truncate this uh, toolbar. But I think the scope of this um, conversation is that we're focused more about this part here, the whole toggling between markdown, rich text and uh, preview. Um, because if we nail that, then we can, it's something that we could like experiment with in the content editor and then like translate it over to, um, issues and comments if we need that. Yes. I like this thinking from Manchu. Um, and let's, let's play around with that. Um, because. Um, what Hamenshu is pointing out to here is that like currently we have attach a file in here, but there is an issue out there that suggests, hey, why don't we move this attach a file to become a action button up here and like a button insert diagram. And we kind of visualize this here where this is like attach file or image. Um, the paperclip is like a good option here. We, we had a small survey and people said, yep, yeah, if attaching files or images, this 
paperclip would be fine, but um, recently I also explored some other ones that kind of combine concepts, but I think that's a finer detail that we can um, result, um, look into later. Um, so how about putting a preview button here? That's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, so um, this is the most crude button ever, but why not? Right? So, um, what uh, what were you thinking with preview here, Hemantri? Like, what would happen if you press this? Uh, it, it would just replace the markdown with the preview, mm -hmm. and then uh, the preview button changes to something like close preview. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. So. So my next question, I guess, would be I know you just kind of I'm putting you on the spot here, but then let's say I toggle these two. What happens up here? Does is it kind of doesn't do anything or does it no, it just it just stays there. Uh, it's like markdown stays there, but uh, instead mm. of the markdown, you see a preview of the markdown. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. But I think that well, that preview button should works for for both markdown and rich text modes. Like mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a shared functionality. Mm -hmm. What uh, happens if this was somewhere up in the toolbar? Would that make sense, or would that? Yeah, yeah, it, it would make sense, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so so the idea is that uh, it, it should be a different action button and not, not a tab. So uh, it doesn't matter where it is. Okay. But I don't think you need a preview with uh, the rich text editor. Hmm. But that's exactly what we were discussing before. Like, if the rich text editor is not a, it's not exactly what the user sees when when they are viewing the document in read-only mode. Uh, then we we should provide that view as well for both uh for both editing modes. Uh, or at least you know, like text editor. Sorry, if the rich text editor supports a read-only view, then uh, it should be exactly like the preview. We should make sure. For example, for the diagrams, it should not render the code at all. Uh, if in the read-only mode. Yeah, but then if we have a markdown view with a preview mode, and we have a rich text mode with a we are read only mode. What is the difference between the preview and the read only mode? No, no we difference. can consolidate. Yeah, we can consolidate both uh, functionalities in a single in a single concept. That would be the the preview yeah. for both of them. Yeah, that makes sense. If we can have a read only mode for the rest of it, uh, yeah, we can when use it would, as a preview. When would the how would you invoke the read only uh, mode for the rich text editor? Uh, I mean, we don't support it right now, but we could do it. Is it the reading in the viewing mode in the wiki where you? before you click edit or how, how do you see that being different or the same uh, it's a well that view is 
front by the back end mm. but this one would be like front and front end mm-hmm. mm. yeah. but yeah the, the principle of like visiwig is like uh, the preview looks exactly like the rest of it so if mm-hmm. if it doesn't then it's not visiwig it's rich text <laughs> uh, okay um l- l- let's play around with this concept of putting buttons at the bottom at the moment in the content editor for for reasons of simplicity we kind of like we don't have anything at the bottom at the moment our world kind of lives in like the toolbar and like lots of uh actions through the bubble menu um should we have like a footer area for the content editor uh, i'm just thinking out loud here is like should we emulate this pattern of having a preview and stuff like that for the content editor or should we not So, uh, if so we, we were should. oh sorry much i also would say like if we if we were starting to implement the the classic markdown editor from scratch uh would you take would you make the decision of putting like uh actions in the footer besides the um besides putting the, the actions in the toolbar or would you just like would you make the decision of moving the the attach files and the freebie button to a toolbar. That's a good I think question. like from the point of view of if, yeah, if we are like, if we will revisit that anyway. Yeah. Um, a thought has come up in the past with like inserting items that like one potential approach would be having formatting tools and inserting actions kind of separate. Uh, you see that in some applications uh, where they kind of separate the two, whether that's the right way or not, um, that's that's a whole other ball game. But um, the, the kind of concern I kind of have with like preview and close as simple as it is, is like, I don't know what happens to the top here. It feels strange to have the actions still available if you do preview, do preview. Um, once you're done the preview, then it's like, yeah, you can surface this, but it feels uh, a little bit strange to have preview, but these things are still visible. Maybe we can also have the preview in a model, uh, oh. and then people can ex- explicitly close the model to hide the preview. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and uh, perhaps in the future uh, we can also have like a side by side thing. That's, that's, that's kind of ambitious, but but in that case, like Markdown and Restrict both are editable at the same time. Mm. Hmm. No, no, not too crazy, because. Uh, one, one thing that we haven't really talked about too much is like the full screen mode. Now, this is something that we're gonna talk about later in the future, but yeah, side by side view, that, that's when you have the real estate for that definitely uh, to play around with concepts like that. Um, cool. Um, Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Um, if I was going to go and start thinking about, you know, where do, where do, where does this preview button go? Like, let, let's say I stick it at the bottom or somewhere at the top. What won't work? Uh, like, what well, what's a big red flag? Because I know that uh, we don't want to rewrite some uh, some aspects to the design uh, to the whole content editor experience uh, integrating this. Um, is there anything that I should watch out as a designer to just like don't implement it like this because it will require a lot of refactor of the code to implement it. Well, that I I'm thinking like first I I don't think that we should like avoid the refactoring if we want like to to implement that ideal design. Mm. But what I'm thinking is like we have we have to to split this conversation into parts like okay. what do we want to achieve in the in the context of the hackathon mm. and what do we want to achieve long term because mm. if we are like if we were planning um this effort as a quarter uh goal quarterly goal or a six month goal i would say yeah let's go for it because this is probably the best way of doing it and it's cost effective based on, on, on the time that we have. But if we think about these designs in the context of a single week swarm between everyone in the team, where only two engineers are actually fa fam familiarized with the code base and the container, uh, what do we want to achieve? And what is the design that we want to include in the hackathon? That's a, the way that I'm thinking about this. Okay. All right, so, so let me then focus on this. So for the hackathon, um, what don't we want to do that will cause grief? <laughs> um, yeah, the, the idea of a hackathon is mostly that uh, uh, you are free to do whatever you want, kind of uh, yeah. without any constraints. So you don't really have to depend on the design or, or even uh, like uh, you, you, you should be able to do things that are not conventionally okay to do. Uh, I mean, it can be a bad code which doesn't really go well in master so you can you should be able to do things like that okay um silly question on my side the code that uh, we come up with during the hackathon would that be something that would be releasable behind a feature flag or something like that like would it would that be uh, end result, or is there more like a pr proof of concept that we would uh, end at? Like, where is the line? Like, what what is what is done for a hackathon from the engineering side? Uh, the idea is that uh, we come up with like proof of concept and uh, like something that uh, we can show, and then eventually we. Uh, focus on like releasing it uh, to like, like okay. over the next like over the next few weeks after the hackathon. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, that makes sense to me. Uh, So free without constraints. All right.
Okay. Would, would this make sense if I take what we chatted about today, come up with some designs, and then you two can provide feedback to see if it's, if you want to go harder on the solution or you want to hold back on the solution for the hackathon, like over the time of next week, which is like one week before the hackathon, so that we kind of figure out kind of the scope or like how how free you want to be or like for the solution for the hackathon. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that regardless of how we go about this and which mm. constraints we are, we apply, like mm. perhaps that's something that we should discuss as a team in the hackathon mm. week. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. So that's that's my takeaway from here is that I'll come up and mock up a few rough ideas um, for for this, and then we can use that during the week of the hackathon to discuss. Or if you have time next week to uh, give any feedback on it. Um, we can discuss it asynchronously next week. And then when we jump into the hackathon, hopefully, yeah, we're kind of like aligned uh, prior to jumping into it. Sounds good. Cool stuff. All right. Anything else you wanted to add about this? Um, this kind of like toggling between preview stuff or anything related to the hackathon? No. Okay, cool. Um, so thank you very much uh, for taking your time to discuss this. It's been helpful for me. And yeah, have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. All right, bye.